Hello everyone, this is Renee Henry with the 1440 Dialogue. I want to come on and touch base with everyone. And I wanted to say that today, um, you are reading from the book of Acts. The book of Acts says, Acts 2, chapter 2, verse 4 and 4. And all they that believed were together and had all things common. All they that believed were together and had all things common. You know, we're talking about people may be saying, well, why is she this and why is she that? Or I think she's this or I think she's that. It's perfectly fine. But the Bible says they that believed were together and they had all things common. What they were together doing? They were together worshiping God. They were together praising God. They were together daily glorifying God. They were together taking communion in remembrance of the covenant that we have. For our Christians, it will keep you busy. First of all, we have to study the Bible so that we can know we have to memorize the Bible. We have to preach the Bible, the gospel to the nations. And then we have to have all things common. So we are very busy as Christians. We are very busy. We don't have time to sit around and act a fool. Christians probably shouldn't be on social media. I said, why are you on social media? Well, I think it's just a person against somebody. I may go back to the old way that I used to do. I used to um, keep informed. I used to have a magazine subscription for almost every magazine known to human kind. I had Cosmopolitan, and of course I had Cosmopolitan. Um, and, and I'm going to start vlogging, but I don't want to waste people's time on the 1440. And you want to see personal things that I'm, I might be intimate in my blogs. I'm going to start, and I'm going to start tentatively in January 22, uh, 2022. That's because I hope to have the tools and equipment I need to make formal uh, social media content. And it might get intimate. When I say intimate, I'm not mean being sexual. But if I meet someone, Definitely. I, feel like that would be um, like I don't want to be offensive. Like, but I'm talking about my relationship with Christ. Maybe become intimate. Watch me pray. And my my skillful prayer prayer warriors. I want to believe. You know, watching me seek the Lord through some of these things and, and retain my faith. You know. I just have people look at me and, and be on a mind trip and it's making me very angry. But God dealt with me. He said, quit all that sassy talk and let me put them in hell. Try to seek the Lord. Because when my image should be in hell and I don't know what I'm doing that I shouldn't be doing. That's why that's why vlogging could get intimate. What is she not doing that she should be doing? So that her image can be burned in the bottom of hell. So, you know, I'm not going to, like I said, wasting about this time on the 14th corner, but here again, I want to share a scripture that stood out to me as I was reading in my personal reading time. Um, tentatively, 1440 should start in January 2022. And, um, remember the scripture for the X2. They they were together and had all things coming. I can say a lot about that. Who was together? The believers was it? Who was a believer? Well, Paul was a believer. Oh my God! Now we take a personal look at Paul. Amazing. Paul was an amazing man. But Paul had a lot of flaws. And so, if Paul flawed, what would he share? Well, Paul had a job. He had a job. He did have a job. He was a single man. But he must have been fun to be around. People, people were ran, went to Paul and embraced him. People would cry when he left. Oh, he must have been so much a wonderful person to be around. Full of life. He, he wasn't single and miserable. He was a happy man. So, so we can listen man for Paul was something Paul had a life that you wouldn't believe so 
Paul might have been. Paul might have been racist. This is the house where. A racist Jew think he was superior because he was a Jew for chosen by God. But after after God humbled Paul, Paul stood there and watched Stephen get beat to death. The most consistent unto his death the Bible said that. But you know what? Paul was beaten and left for dead 14 times. Why? I said, you read what you so. I believe Paul went to read. Send it while Stevie. I must give you to death. You read what you so. Be not deceived. God is not mine. Whatever a man so that when he read. Paul, Paul, Paul humbled himself, baby. He, he forgot about being a Jew after being beaten. 14 times, but some of those times were by the Jews. A lot of those times were by the Jews. Beat and left for dead. And he began to say, I'm a Roman. A problem of his Roman heritage. Part of his Roman heritage. So Paul was an intriguing and fascinating man. By no means he was perfect. Was he perfect? But I'm not saying that to say this. People look at you as a believer. And say he is small, he is great, and you get to be around the great, and you get to be, and that's why you pretend to believe. Well, a lot of people are pretending to believe. I'm saying there's a, a man that asked down nice I think it was down nice. He was he was full of carnality and and, and arrogance. Think he was some big position. There's people like that. There's people like that. The only Christianity for to get something for to be big to get a position. We want you to let God deal with all those things. Because I said that was a big girl. But one of the greatest men ever walk on the earth came to this big girl. And they were together and had in common the love for God. I can't be worried about how people look at you and saying, oh, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to do this. I have to stay on the world for a lot of reasons. <laughs> So, I'm going to get, get to doing that. So anyway, 1440, the word for the day. Acts 244, and all that believe went together, and all things come. What's in common? They were praising God. They were worshiping God. They were ministering the gospel. They were sharing in the remembrance of their covenant, the holy word of God. And God had promised them that he will keep every truth in that Bible to them. Be prepared. Be prepared to receive everything that Bible says. So, as a Christian, be very busy. As a Christian, you can be very, very busy. Very busy. You have to sit around worrying about what somebody is saying about you. What somebody trying to speak to your life. But I, I do, I am dealing with something. And I'm not vlogging it. So, if I talk about it, please forgive me. But I'm not going to talk about it on the fourth and fourth. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Be inspired. Be inspired to do something. Praise God. Give God some praise today. Give God some praise today. We're all the believers. We're all the believers. Don't sit up there. Don't sit up there and let the devil out praise you. The devil online is singing with all their friends to the Lord. Don't let the devil out praise you. Give up and give God some praise today. True believers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.